गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू असिस्टिंग क्लासेस लेट्स बिगिन फॉर थ्री सो इन द लास्ट लेसन वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट रिवर्स रिलेटेड विथ पेनशुला प्लेटो रीजन ऑफ इंडिया इन दैट लेसन वी डिस्कस दैट द मेजर रिवर्स ऑफ पेनशुला रीजन रीजन आर नर्मदा ताप्ती द कृष्णा द कावेरी गोदावरी महानदी we discuss their origination point along with that their total extension and now here we are going to discuss about lake so what is the important importance of this point lake here so guys lakes are having a great importance for our country for example in india most of the tourist places are situated on the bank of lakes Uh, for example, in Rajasthan, Udaipur is known as the city of lakes. So, why that city is famous? Because of lake. So, in this way, Jammu and Kashmir, in Jammu and Kashmir, we are having Dal Lake, which is a very famous tourist point of India. Most of the foreign tourists who uh, visitors who came here to visit India uh, want to visit Dal Lake. So, if imagine if Dal Lake would not be uh, will not be there. then no one would be interested to go there so in this way they are having a great importance for our country uh, for a country like india so with the tourism point of view and along with that for maintaining the ecosystem then lakes are very important so here we are going to discuss about the major categories major types of lake present in india the first is oxbow lake so guys what do we actually mean by oxbow lake or we can say that what is a what is an oxbow lake okay so guys the meandering rivers the meandering river form cut off in flood plains which later become lake and this kind of lakes are called as oxbow lake so what do we mean by oxbow lake means the meandering rivers I mean, meandering means any river flow like that okay so the meandering lake form cut offs in their a uh, way means in the flood plains and finally these cut offs convert in, into lakes and these kind of lakes are called as oxbow lake is that clear guys so oxbow lakes means the cut offs formed by meandering rivers finally become lakes and this these kind of lakes are called as oxbow lake now the next point is lake the spit and bath the spit and bath on coastal areas means they are situated near the sea the spit and bath on the coastal areas responsible for the formation of lagoon and these kind of lagoon are generally converted into lakes now the another category of lakes is lakes formed due to tectonic activity guys it is a kind of lake which is formed due to the movement to plates in tectonic plates means the movement of tectonic plates is responsible for the formation of developed structure and this developed structure finally filled with water and in this way a uh, lake came into being and the best example of this kind of lake is the Vula 
land. Is that clear, guys? So, lakes formed due to tectonic activity means a lake which is formed due to moments of tectonic plates means the moment between tectonic plates responsible to form dugout structure and when this dugout structure formed with water and in this way form a lake and the best example of this kind of lake is polar lake now after the polar lake the next category of lake is the glacier lake So guys, what do we actually mean by glacial lake? Glacial lake means a lake which is formed due to the dugout basins created by glaciers. Means when the glaciers move, they form dugout basins, and these dugout basins was filled with snow melt, and in this way, a new lake came into being. So the glacial lake means. The land formed in dugout basins of glaciers. Is that clear, guys? So when the glaciers move, they form dugout basins, and when these dugout basins Filled with snow melt, they converted into lakes. So this is another category of lake we discuss here. Now the next point is seasonal lake. So guys. Which kind of lake generally we call as a seasonal lake means the lake which remain filled with water during a particular season. Mean to say that during the rainy season when the small streams come out in the semi-arid and arid regions, then they they form some lakes. And these kind of lakes are called as seasonal lake. Is that clear, guys? So this kind of lakes are found in semi-arid regions and formed due to the seasonal streams, and that's why we are calling these lakes as seasonal lakes. Is that clear? And the best example of seasonal lake is Samhar Lake, present in. Rajasthan. Now, along with these different categories of lake, we are having another category of lake also, which is related with human being means with the human activity. So we can call that as human man lake. Is that clear? So human man lake means generally. For generation of hydroelectricity, along with that, for managing water, water for irrigation, and along with that, potable water supply. So we store the water, water of different rivers, and in this way, this activity is responsible for the formation of lake. And this kind of lakes are generally very useful for us. The best example of this kind of lake is. Gobind Singh Lake. Gobind Singh Lake. So Gobind Singh Lake related with Bhagra Nagar Dam project situated in Punjab. Is that clear, guys? So these are the different categories of lakes present in India. Now after that, the next point which we are going to discuss here is related with importance of lakes in. India. Lakes are having a great importance in the human life. Means from the ancient time till now, they are having a great importance. Generally, at the time of heavy rainfall, 
left check the heavy flow of water in this way in this way prevent flood along with that at the time of other seasons means at the time of rainy season we check the heavy flow of water and in this way prevent the rain from flood along with that at the time of other seasons it maintain the flow of water in this way prevent the scarcity of water is that clear so at the time of other season it maintain the flow of water and prevent the scarcity of water and at the time of rainy season it check the flow of water means the heavy water flow it check by the leg and in this way prevent the flood okay along with that it also become a source of potable and irrigable water or irrigation handle water so in this way generally if you look with the present point of view that there are three importance related with lakhs first of all it check the heavy flow of water during the rainy season in this way prevent flood it maintain the flow of water in the other season and in this way responsible for preventing the scarcity of water and finally it also become a major source of potable and irrigable water or irrigation handle water is that clear now the next point is role of rivers in the indian economy rivers are having at most importance in the indian economy from ancient time till present in the ancient time rivers were the major source of water potable water and water for irrigation and this way most of the civilizations in the world developed near the river bank or in india also the most ancient civilization examples of ancient civilization present in india also developed on the banks of river at present we are having the rivers for supply potable water water for irrigation along with that we also use the water of rivers for hydroelectricity generation mean to say that the major role played by rivers in our present indian economy is related with potable water supply potable water supply water for irrigation along with that water for hydro electricity generation means we can say that mostly at present the river water is usable for us in the matter of potable water supply to provide water for irrigation and along with that water for hydroelectricity generation along with that river also become a major source of transportation so in this way we discussed about the importance of lakhs and importance of rivers in the indian economy now the next point which we are going to discuss here is related with river pollution 
सो वॉट डू वी एक्चुअली मीन बाई रिवर पोल्यूशन रिवर पोल्यूशन मीन्स पोल्यूशन ऑफ रिवर वॉटर बाई डिंग और एमजिंग सीवेज एंड इंडस्ट्रियल गैस इन टू दी रिवर मीन्स by uh, the activity of dumping and emptying the sewage waste into the river water we are not only affecting the quality of water but also the self cleaning capacity of rivers when generally a river has its self cleaning capacity by which a river can clean the impurities of water but due to a lot of dumping and emptying of industrial gas into the rivers the river lost its quality and in this way the river water get polluted and this is what we call river pollution river pollution become a reason for many kinds of problems created for the aquatic life means especially the aquatic life affected by the river pollution um, the aquatic animals got disturbance in their respiratory system and along with that their regular system and in this way they got extinct so river pollution is a major challenge present in front of the india so we have to think a lot about that so what do we actually mean by river pollution means pollution of river water means uh, we can say that the human activities by which we are continuously affecting the quality of river water means by which we are continuously increasing the harmful ingredients in the river water is actually river pollution is that clear guys so in this way i explain you about the lakes in india along with the importance of rivers in the indian economy and finally river pollution if there will be any doubt while watching this video in your mind you can write me in the comment box i will definitely help you to resolve all your doubts thank you very much have a nice day jai hind